Hey guys, Mars Lincoln here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so coming out tomorrow morning, or tomorrow morning for me, late in the evening for you if you're in certain places of the US, we of course have the uh, Super Vegeta Extreme Z battle. So you can EZA STR Super Vegeta. Uh, you also need the medals for the sub EZA for the AGL Super Vegeta as well. So this is going to be coming out uh, because it's out on both versions at the same time. It is releasing at the time that JP events usually release. So that will be uh, 8 a.m. UK time. I believe with the clocks change, it's like 1 a.m. for uh, Pacific time um, and then like 4 a.m. Eastern. Um, basically, if you're on global, it's an hour and a half later than events usually release, right? So I will be live uh, to stream the 30 stages of the EZA. Um, so hopefully I will see you guys there. We'll be going live about half an hour before it drops. Um, we can get the sub EZA medals for the uh, 16 and the Cell Juniors as well. So we can EZA all the units once the thing actually drops. Um, at eight o'clock so if you're still unsure uh, this video will be going live if you're watching it as soon as it comes out uh, the video will be going live at midnight uk time so it will be eight hours after the release of this video so the vegeta eza is a standard 30 stage eza um, you will get all the medals to awaken super vegeta 11 str grand kais so you can get them to sa15 have a few left over as well as some str orbs uh, there will be missions as always for using certain units and being the stage within a certain time so you end up with about 34 stones in total and the special category uh, for this one is the android slash cell saga and when it comes to the typings that will receive the uh, debuff uh, it is most super types, unfortunately only super AGL characters will be able to do damage and then all extreme types except extreme physical. So essentially you're going to be want to uh, look at extreme AGL, uh, tech, int and STR and then super AGL. Now of course you can use like super tech, super int um, and even physical units but you're not going to be doing damage. So if there are units of that typing that will be very good defensively and you need some better options for your team, then you will be able to use those characters. They're just not going to do any damage once you get past uh, stage 20 is when the full reduction kicks in. So for the last 10 stages, they won't be able to do a lot of damage. So I will still be mentioning some of those kind of units in here because of their defensive capabilities, but that is something that you will have to be aware of so as always with my team building guides we're going to go through the top picks and honorable mentions for the team if there's any units that i miss out or you think i should have talked more about why they're good for the team let me know down below in the comment section and of course if you find the guide helpful at all do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so we can start off here straight away with the uh, agl cell so he is an extreme agl character so obviously prime choice for the lead he has an Android slash Cell Saga leader skill for 170, and then he gives the extra 30% to Androids. So if you want to build, as we need to use really largely extreme characters anyway, right? Because we can only really use Super AGL when it comes to damage. Um, the best team build is going to be like an extreme Androids team. So having this Cell as the leader means that everyone on the team is going to be getting the full 200% leader skill. Uh, this guy's going to be able to hit incredibly hard. Uh, he has type advantage anyway. Um, now, of course, he does transform as the fight goes on, but Extreme Z battles, the fights are not normally very long. I mean, by the time, even when you get out to stage like 15 or so, you're going to have probably one turned each of the phases before then. But um, Cell, definitely one of the best choices for the leader. Gives the widest coverage of the leader skill. Because even if you have non-Androids, he's still giving them the 170 lead. So Cell is probably the top pick for the actual leader for the team. Now, for Android Slash Cell Saga, we do also have the Int Cell. Um, he leads Android Cell Saga, but gives a 180 as well as 4 key. So if you are going to bring some units who aren't Androids, they will get a higher leader skill percentage from him than they will from the AGL Cell. And of course, this guy is still able to hit incredibly hard. Um, he has the ability that's very useful because easy A's, you of course can't use items. So if you are struggling in the later stages, you obviously can't bring support items to heal yourself. But if you drop below 40% HP with no turn restriction, uh, this cell will transform into the uh, perfect cell, which of course gives you a full heal. 
and then he hits like an absolute truck. So he is definitely a go-to option. Even if you are running the cell, uh, the AGL cell as the leader, this guy definitely uh, will be worthy of a spot on the team and will be able to do a ton of damage as well as having the backup heal should you need it. So one of the other uh, leaders for Android Slash Cell Saga is the Tech Trunks that transforms into the Super Trunks. Now on Global, he of course hasn't returned on a banner yet. So uh, I know a lot of people did not summon for him. Of course, it was the first banner of the new year. So it followed on from, you know, we went from like worldwide into heroes into, uh, we had LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku as well. And then of course, 21 and the Int Super Saiyan. So um, the thing is, of course, he is tech. So he is going to be one of these units that isn't going to do a lot of damage. Um, he does have the active skill. Uh, that you can use basically on his next turn, which has an action break as well as doing damage. But of course, the damage will be nerfed anyway. So honestly, this guy, he really just gets an honorable mention for the leader skill. Um, and outside of that, I probably wouldn't recommend using him just because he is a unit designed to deal damage, right? Especially once you've transformed into the super trunks. But because he is a super tech unit, he won't be doing a lot of damage in this event. So... He's probably a character that you can use as a leader if you have no other Android Cell Saga leads, but other than that, probably not worth bringing into the event. Uh, next up, we have the AGL Trunks, a bit older. He is an Android Cell Saga lead as well. 170 for attack and defense, but only 130 for HP. So we really are talking sort of kind of last resort for a leader here. Now, he is super AGL. So if you're running one of the other leaders, he is able to do damage. He has the additional uh, attacks built into his kit. Um, and then he has a chance to do multiple extra attacks into additional supers as well. So in the early phases, he could quite easily clear a ton of the health bars away from the boss. So if you do want to run some super AGL characters or you can't field a full team of androids, um, this guy definitely could be very, very useful. Which is crazy because this guy, like, he was not really impressive on release. So he's basically dead in the war in terms of, like, the current meta of the game until he gets an easy A, but in this event, he could certainly be very, very useful. And of course, he has an Android Slash Cell Saga lead in case you need it. Uh, next up, we have this guy. So it's interesting because often with these easy A's, they kind of make it so that the category works around the new unit that just came out. Now, of course, with this new Vegeta, you can make a team with Vegeta Family or Super Saiyans that is the full Android Slash Cell Saga, but Vegeta himself is super tech. Uh, well, sorry, Extreme Tech. Um, so he's very, very good defensively. You know, the thing is, I constantly forget that this Vegeta is Extreme. So actually, he's fine because he will do damage because he's Extreme Tech, um, which I keep forgetting, right? It's only really the Vegetas from um, like the end of the Cell games onwards, I guess, after Trunks gets killed and he goes crazy against um, Cell, that he's considered a super class character and is then on Bond of Parent and Child as well. Um, so Vegeta... I was going to say it's funny they didn't do this this time, but Vegeta is the prime example. They always make it so these easy A's you can use the new character as a very solid leader. Because even though none of it, no part of his leader skill says Android slash Cell Saga, but you can very easily make a full Android slash Cell Saga team uh, out of his lead. And of course, he's a very, very good defensive unit for slot one. Um, so yeah, he's going to be super, super good for this event. Um, then we have the Int 16. So this guy, I wanted to highlight him because he has an Android Slash Cell Saga leader skill, which is that 130, if you don't have a better option, which I imagine you probably will for the most part. But of course, this guy, he's a sub EZA. So if you have pre-farmed his medals, like if you're watching this video as soon as it comes out, I think the event doesn't actually return in the Extreme Z tab until eight o'clock when all the EZAs come out. But you can go into the Portal of Memories and use the keys and you can farm the medals that this guy needs uh, from the STR cell EZA. So as soon as it hits eight o'clock and all the events come out, you could EZA this guy if you've pre-farmed the medals and then use him in the STR Super Vegeta um, Extreme Z battle and he's a super super good slot one tank builds up damage reduction and then if you are bringing a Gohan on the team and of course we will talk about him here soon um, he gets this extra buff as well as providing support so I would say if you have pre-farmed the medals uh, definitely give that a thought if you weren't going to 
awaken this guy straight away and then use him on the team and he will be super, super good. Of course, if you don't want to do that, if you don't want to pre-farm the medals or you don't have this guy, there is the uh, Super Strike in 16. Because remember, you can't use characters with the same name in an Extreme Z battle. Um, and as long as you have Android slash Cell Saga enemies, this guy has a high chance to guard. He has damage reduction when he's guarding. So even though it's chance to guard, which is kind of annoying, he will be a very good defensive unit for this EZA as long as his defense, uh, as long as his guard is actually activating. But if you have this guy, definitely better. Only post EZA, of course, because pre EZA, I mean, he's pretty terrible. So if you've pre-farmed the medals, get this guy on the team, he'll be super good. And then, of course, the same goes for the AGL Cell Juniors, especially if you are running a team with the various other Cell characters. Uh, these guys post EZA will be really, really good as well. And their medals you can pre-farm from the Tech Cell Extreme Z battle. So I would recommend pre-farming the medals for these two guys. Get them EZA straight away when the events come out. And then you can use them in the actual EZA event for Super Vegeta. So next up, we have the STR, Goku and Gohan. Uh, they lead Super Saiyans or Goku family and then have the plus 30% for Android slash Cell Saga. Now, because they're Super STR... They do fall under that category of not being able to really do any damage, but they are another 200% lead that you could bring, because obviously some of these other Super Saiyan characters like the Trunks, the Gohan that we'll talk about, um, they will be on the 200% leader skill for this unit. So even though they won't be doing damage, they have the dodge chance after they super, and then they can lead a very strong team. So you'll primarily just be floating them off. Um, or obviously probably running a better friend and then just running these guys as your leader. Um, but yeah, they have a very good leader skill. Other than that, there's not much to say about them for this particular event because they won't be doing any damage and you won't be going long enough to see Gohan come out. So they're basically just kind of there as a last resort leader, realistically. Um, so then we have the AGL uh, free-to-play, the friend LR androids. Now, because you're fighting a super class enemy, these guys get all of their buffs and as well as the ability to launch an additional super. Um, they can be very, very good. They are supporting extreme class allies for four key and 50% defense. So if you are running that cell or just mostly androids build, these guys will be very, very good. Um, as well as depending on which leader you're running, if you're running that new Vegeta, he is, of course, an extreme unit, as I've remembered. And so they'll be supporting him as well. Um, so these guys, definitely a solid free-to-play option uh, for the team. Then we have the AGL LR Gohans. We did allude to him a little bit earlier. Not only is he going to be very good defensively, he's a super AGL, so he will do damage. Um, and he's the Gohan youth that we can use to get the buff for that Int 16. So especially if you are wanting to use the Int Android 16, uh, this guy can be very, very effective uh, on the team. Good unit overall in general anyway. Gives that buff for the 16. I mean, even if you don't have the in 16, you're not going to use him. Um, he can be very, very good. Um, of course, you have... Uh, if we bring the 16 on the team or the Super Strike one, if you drop below the HP threshold, he can transform into the Super Saiyan 2. And considering he's going to have type advantage, he gets that big nuke, like, all change turn. If you actually do manage to get the transformation with him... Probably just going to end up one-shotting the uh, phase. So very, very good. Um, next up, we have the future Gohan. Now, this guy, I thought I'd give him an honorable mention just for his defensive capabilities. Because post-Super, he will be tanking incredibly well in something like an Extreme Z battle. Like, he'll eat a Super at stage 30 quite comfortably. The only downside, of course, just like the Goku and Gohan, is he is a Super STR unit. Which means he won't be doing any damage. But if you are finding the later stages a little bit more difficult and you do have this guy, then he will be a very, very strong defensive option. Next up, we have the AGL Super Saiyan Vegeta. Um, there aren't any other named Super Saiyan Vegetas really on the category, right? So this guy is not taking up a spot from someone else that is named. And of course, he is the Vegeta that attacks Cell after he kills Trunks. So he is a Super AGL character. Um, but he will be able to do damage. He gets a little bit of build-up. He's certainly not a crazy unit, so he's more so of an honorable mention. But if you are running more of the Super Saiyans or like Super Types kind of build, especially if you're using that Goku and Gohan lead, then this guy works very, very nicely on that team build as well. Um, then we have the Tech Super Saiyan 2 Gohan from the World Tournament. Now, he's Super Tech, so he's not going to do damage. But he's a unit that if you have him in uh, slot 3... 
he is providing that 50% attack and defense uh, to the AGL tech and physical characters. But there's no delineation here between super and extreme. So even if you're running a bunch of extreme like Android units that are AGL and tech, he'll be supporting them as well and giving them that 50%, which is a pretty significant buff. So he is still probably more of an honorable mention than a top pick because he's not going to do damage, but he is there for the support and 50% support is pretty significant. So he can juice up some of these other units on your team uh, pretty nicely. So definitely worth considering. Uh, then we have the tech uh, androids these guys still a meme still going strong now because they have the ghost usher super good for easy a's even up to you know up and past stage 100 because they have their ghost usher you can use on turn one remove the enemy's attacks and then you know in the early phases you're going to beat these fights in one turn and the enemy doesn't even get a chance to attack you because of the uh, tech androids active skill so these guys probably a must run on the team if you have them unless you are just going for the full like super types super saiyans kind of build but if you are running other android characters um, these guys are an absolute go-to uh, for the active skill and because they are in the right category and can do damage because they're extreme tech um, they can hit decently well if you're picking up all the orbs for them as well. Next up we have this tech cell. Now, I thought I'd include this guy more so for the JP side. For global, I guess he could be an honourable mention if you're running a bunch of extreme tech characters. But for JP, of course, these 50% units do have their uh, easy A's. So if you have this guy, if you're on JP, easy aid, he will be very, very good. Um, of course, he's better if you have the other tech allies to run him with. So he has the guard for the first few turns and stuff like that. But even if you're only running like one other extreme tech character, because this guy is very good and easy A's aren't super difficult, he will probably still be worth running on the team. Whereas, as I say, if you're on global and we only have the pre easy A version, you could still run him if you're running a bunch of extreme tech units. But you obviously have to remember his defense is just not very good anymore. So that's something you'd have to keep an eye out for. Uh, then we have the Int, Jero, and 19. Uh, these guys, I'm assuming the Vegeta in the later stages, he's obviously going to have the final flash super attack. I'm not sure what the SSR has in the early phases. But these guys will be able to absorb his super attack and heal from it. So they can't take damage from him supering. And then they heal on super as well. So if you are running the Androids based version of the team, these guys will be super, super good. They're also supporting Androids allies. So they're just a... Probably must run, I would say, if you're running the extreme version of the team. Um, they're going to be supporting and doing a very good job of uh, keeping your health topped up and not being able to take damage from supers. Then we have the Int Future Gohan. Now, this guy only really gets an honorable mention if you are running that Super Saiyan kind of build. Because he'll support Bond of Master and Disciple, which is a few of the characters that will be on the team, like the AGL LR Gohan. Um, but he's super in, so he won't be doing a lot of damage. Um, if you're running a Trunks on the team, then obviously he can transform. But even then, like, he's got damage reduction guaranteed, whereas in base it's only below a certain HP threshold. But he just won't really be doing damage. So he's an honourable mention if you need to fill that final slot on your team. But he won't do much damage. Um, and last but not least, I wanted to mention the STR second form cell. Because if you are running uh, extreme Android slash Cell Saga allies, which, you know, for running the Android sort of build, he's giving them three key and attack and defense 40%. He's relatively good. He needs an easy A to be meta relevant, but for something like an extreme Z battle, um, he will be perfectly fine. So those are the top picks and honorable mentions. If we look back at the Android slash Cell Saga, I mean... Most of the other LRs, like I say, we can't cover a lot of the super ones that aren't going to do damage. Um, I guess technically Freezer and King Cold, who just recently easy aid on Global, but they just don't fit on the team like at all with any of these other characters. Um, super types are largely locked out from not being able to do damage. Um, so there you have it when it comes to Android slash Cell Saga. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Like I said at the start, if there's any units you think I missed out or should have talked more about, let me know down below in the comment section and let us know what your team build is going to look like for the Super Vegeta Extreme Z battle in the comments down below. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Mars Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store and I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.